Deppa! Hey, William! I have Montenegro on my mind. <gasps> that is because the broadcaster down there has chosen Slavko! Kalezovic! Kalezovic! To sing at Eurovision 2017. Kalezovic. We don't know if we're pronouncing his name right, but we do know we have strong opinions. Should we share them? <laughs> Let's do this! Now, Deben Slavko, he is a real firebrand. I am going to quote from his song, Freedom. He says, love me or hate me, you cannot deny. This beat is crazy. Ay, ay, ay. Ay! He beats to his own drum, and I respect that. Up until now, the male contestants we have seen, they're great, but they're a little safe a little conservative and predictable. He is not predictable. He is outré. You know, and I have to agree, and I think that if you're coming as a solo person, you know, a solo artist, it's good to actually imbue elements of both masculine yeah. and feminine. And this is Eurovision, you know what? Eurovision, you pull all the stops out and you go all out there, and freedom encapsulates the spirit and the sense of Slavko. Absolutely. He is original. Now, we don't know what his song Space will be like, but judging from his X Factor Audrey audition, we know he's going to put on a show. He likes R&B. He likes pop. He and likes it funky. Yeah, and he likes hip hop. You know, the other thing which I have to, I have to borrow from one of your um, video commentaries, William, when you said that people these days love to hate on beautiful people. And yes. I think that is exactly the same thing that's happening here Absolutely. with Slavko. He can dance, he can sing, he can put up a performance. Even when he's crouched on the floor, his LED speaks for itself. C word, charisma. <laughs> Unique nerve. <laughs> nerve and talent. He's got all of it. He actually hosted an episode of oh, X Factor. Adria. Adria. Mm -hmm. So he may not have won the show, but producers recognized that he had that X Factor, that talent, and they wanted to bring him back. You know, he almost has, this is gonna sound strange, that Swedish DJ bass hunter. Some of his songs, while not sounding totally Swedish, have that oomt, oomt, oomt DJ element. So I could see him throwing us something like that at Eurovision. Point of story, he's gonna do his own swerve on style. This is not a highway review. Oh, no, 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 this is qualifying. This is not a Balkan ballad. <laughs> no, it's not. And one good thing about him is that he's inspired by not just mediocre artists, he takes on Beyonce. Oh, absolutely. You have to have big balls to do that, and his balls are ginormous, honey. Let's have a taste, honey. Oh, dear. This is not a Chinese buffet. Now, listen. On our comment section, some people have had very strong words. They have, they, you know, they basically said, Who are these people? You know, these people exist. He says, oh, this guy's a freak. It ruins the reputation of Eurovision. I want to answer with this. Eurovision is about variety. If you have 43 women standing on their own, singing ballads and crying, it's boring. You want variety. And that's why so many people love Eurovision, is you get people who are non-traditional, you get people who are traditional, you get people singing ballads, you get people singing tap. And he's producers gold, because an act like that can be in the first or the second half, can open or close yes. the show or straddle anywhere in between. That is what you want. That's what you want. He is bringing the heat from Potagorisa. Potagorisa. <laughs> he is so We need to it. go there. We need to go there next. <laughs> I'm really enthused about what he could deliver. And by the way, mm -hmm. did you know that he at one point was in a relationship with Maria Serafovich? Well, you go figure that one out in the comment section below. <laughs> yeah, we are real, real confused <laughs> about that, but there is the photographic evidence, just so you don't, you don't think we're making something up. It was real, honey. <laughs> or supposed to be real. And Devin, we've got to talk about the race for Eurovision's next top male model. Much of it is happening on social media. Yeah. Right now. He is already in the running. What's the I word? Instagram! Look at this. Bam! And check out this. Oh my god! Oh, and that. Bam! Ah! Oh, bam! William, let's just say Eurovision's next top male model 2017 is gonna kill it. It's gonna be fierce between him, Brendan Murray, and Nathan Trent. I know who's winning! Testosterone! <laughs> any case, that's what we think about Slavko. Are you as optimistic and excited about what he might bring to the competition? Let us know here on Movie Blogs. I'm excited and I'm curious to read below what you sound off. And also, while you're at it, like, subscribe. You've got to check Slavko out on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. And we're also on those platforms. Yeah, follow us. We'll follow you. See you later. Bye!